Okay, folks, so uh, ladder's off. I'm gonna have to kind of jump over here. It's not gonna be easy for a 5'8 guy. Uh, but getting ready to scrape now. That's the next step. And uh, it's getting hot, the sun's starting to beam down. So it should be fun. Okay, let's get going. Okay, the floor scraper kind of worked. Um, plan uh, B for scraping the glue off. This guy. I just tested it out and it's gonna work. Also, I got sick of jumping that gap, so put a chair there, make things easier. I'm a little too old to be jumping that every time. All right, so let's uh, continue with the palm sander and this should go quicker. All right, welcome back. Uh, welcome back, guys. We're about five hours into this. And I've got most of the carpet off. I had to go to Lowe's and pick up uh, this tool, which I think is gonna help me pick this out from the joints right here. Um, a part over there came out completely on its own, so that was kind of cool. I don't know if they're I don't know if these parts are glued down or not because that one didn't seem to be glued down. So I'm glad I didn't remove the um those little panels right there. Because I don't think it's glued under there. I think I can just pull it out. Um so we're almost there. Just an hour or so I think, maybe less. So um I'll see you guys when it's done. Just a quick little side note, I figured out how to remove these so I can get underneath the the little metal bars a little easier yeah I just wanted to show you guys this is what I was talking about I was able to with the knife grab it and kind of just pull it out so you know so I don't think it's glued in there that well maybe maybe it was at the beginning but now I can just hope hopefully Hopefully that's the case for the rest of the stuff that I still have to do. All right. One hour later. Okay, it's been an hour. And here's another status update. Uh, we didn't get far. We did not get far at all. Basically, it's been like 30, 45 minutes just in this section. <sighs> the glue on here is still pretty strong so even with this hook tool it's really hard to 
cut all the way through. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop for the day. I am tired and hungry. So um, I'll try to figure out what else I can do here. Maybe uh, an oscillating tool, if I can get it in there. Uh, yeah, not sure what else. Um, gotta figure something else out because I still have like two more sections to do. And that's just gonna be a lot of work if it if it's the same situation as this one. All right, guys. Um, we'll continue with this, uh, this tools and tools uh, project next time. Exhausted. Second day. Pretty good progress though. I think I'm happy with where I am. Uh, maybe another day for finishing these cracks and maybe one day to put down the carpet. I mean, I think that's, that's uh, that should be it. All right, peace out. All right, it's day three. We're out here trying this tool, this uh, oscillating multi-tool, which has been great for these cracks right here, which is what I had left. And I don't think without this, I don't think I would have been able to do it with just a knife. So what I'm doing is I'm putting this in here, loosening up the glue, and then it's kind of coming out on its own. So yeah, it's, uh, I'm just gonna keep going. It's been a lot more, more work than I expected, but we're getting there. So around this time I realized I didn't need to take off the carpet in between these two platforms because I was going to put down the 6x18 piece of carpet straight over them so I just made sure it was flush. Mm -hmm. 